Um, well, hello there, little one. What are you doing out in the woods this late? Don't be scared of me. I know I'm big, but I promise I'm harmless. Are you lost? I can help you find your way if you tell me where you're going. Oh, you look sad, little one. What happened? Come and sit by the fire with me. It's okay. I promise I won't hurt you. Here, have my coat. It's nice and warm. He must be freezing. There you go, little one. Better now? Come, the fire will warm you up again. I have a seat. Are you hungry? That's all right. I have a little left over. There you go. I have some food and a nice warming cup of tea. May I sit with you? Now, eat, little one, and be careful. Don't burn yourself, please. If you don't mind, you can tell me what brought you out here in the dark. With such little equipment. You look like you ran away on a whim. You did, didn't you? Did you have trouble at home? Hey, little one. I'm sorry. I apologize for crying. Don't cry. You're safe now. You don't have to talk unless you want to. I'll keep you safe. You'll be okay. Oh, you poor, poor thing. You can sleep here for the night. Tomorrow, I can take you to the next town over. There, we'll find you a work and a place to stay. And don't worry, I'll make sure you sleep safe and sound tonight. I'll be right there when you need me. It's okay, little one. I really don't mind. I'm just glad I can help. It must be terrifying. Running away like this in the middle of the night. You're lucky you stumbled across me, rather than a camp of thieves. I might not have much left to share, but I am more than willing to give you whatever I do have. I can handle myself. I don't need much to survive. Don't worry, little one. You really aren't giving me trouble. Now eat, and let the warmth of the tea comfort you. Everything is all right now. How do you like the food? Is it good? <laughs> I'm glad you like it. It's nothing special, but it's enough to fill an empty stomach. And the warmth should help you calm down a little. I always find eating takes the edge off of a difficult situation. Your body is busy, so it's a good distraction. For now, just focus on the flavors. Focus on the sound of the firewood cackling. I hear the wind rustling through the trees. Do you want me to tell you what you see? If your mouth isn't full, of course. And it always helps me calm down, just taking a closer look at colors, shapes, and objects around. 
Sometimes you can even find little animals in between the leaves. Or every now and again you'll notice shooting stars as they pass. And look, there's one right there. Make a wish, little one. Hopefully it will come true. <laughs> Are you still hungry? No? That's good. Just hand me your bowl. I'll take care of it. Are you sleepy at all? You look exhausted, little one. If you need comfort during the night, I could offer that. I've trained my body to be on high alert when sleeping. And I've rested enough to stay awake through the night and guard you, if that's what you prefer. And cuddles. <laughs> Alright, little one. Here, I always have a few extra blankets on me. They do take up space, but they barely add any weight. You see, when I lay them out like this, they're almost like a bed. Is it okay to keep my coat for warmth? It's definitely big enough to work as a blanket for you. <laughs> Cozy? Good. I'll just have this blanket here. You said you wanted cuddles? Alright then, kid. Just lay down and relax. You're safe. Now keep you safe, little one. Everything will be okay. I'm right here, and as long as that is, I'll make sure you won't get hurt. Nobody will lay a hand on you. Not on my watch, no one. And I'll stay right here. And you want me to keep talking to you until you fall asleep? And maybe that could help you forget your troubles for a moment. Do you want to hear a story? Alright, then... How about... Hmm... Oh, and how about the demon and the king? Have you heard that story yet? No? That's good. Let me tell you then. It's one of my favorites. A long time ago, there lived the Grand King, and grand he was. He was the overlord of many domains, bringer of peace and liberator of people. He ruled his nations good and fair, treated his servants with decency. But demons he could not understand. A demon had once ended one of his closest men, a friend. So, filled with wrath and sadness, the king went out and swore he would end any demon he'd come across. And so he did, finding those monsters and slaying them. But it never satisfied him. Never felt as though his friend had been avenged. But one day, the mad king met someone. Someone who first became a companion, and then a friend. And then, after some time with his new friend, the king finally beginning to smile again. Letting go of his madness and anger, he was finally able to find back his old self, kind and gracious. But his hate for demons lingered. Eventually, his close friend stepped before him, kneeled and said, wrapped with guilt, 
My dearest friend, you have become someone so important to me. I cannot keep lying to you like this. I love you, my dear friend. But I have not been honest about who I truly am. And so, the dear friend revealed themselves to be a demon. All this time, they had been what the king hated so passionately. The king was filled with rage and screamed, So it was nothing to you? Dearest king, you were everything to me, replied the demon. And so they cried, because the king finally realized what he had become. A mere shadow of his former self, for the act of a single demon yet slayed innocents, families, mothers, children. And so, he too fell on his knees and he cried, holding his dear friend close, begging for forgiveness. For he too had lied, lied to himself. He had seen himself as righteous and fair, but now he had come to realize he himself had become the thing he hated most. A vengeful demon killing without mercy or reason. That very day, the king gave up his crown so that now his kindest daughter would rule the land. She was truly generous and later went on to marry a demon, ruling peacefully over their domain. And the king, he lived his life, pained with regret, but besides the person he loved most, his dearest friend, they ended their story together now lay buried in the same grave. He had been a good king to his people, and in the end, he had to be a good partner to his beloved. But he never forgave himself. I like to think he is now a ghost, protecting the good-hearted demons to make up for the suffering he caused in his lifetime. Now, sleep well, little one, and regain your energy. Sweet dreams.